hey y'all and welcome back to my channel if you're not subscribed make sure you are subscribed we are working with yg wigs today this is everything they gave me we are going to be working with their water wave bulk hair today pretty sure the length of this is 20 inches i always work with 20 inches usually when i work with any bulk hair it's just the perfect length so that you have the right amount of hair sticking out of the braids so if we're doing this mohawk today we're gonna have to do two rows in the middle of just knotless braids to set the like foundation of the mohawk you know so for all the braids like all the braids she has in her hair i used about two to three pieces of the boho hair water wave hair from yg wigs on each braid two to three pieces mostly three if you really want to get a full 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 look i had two bundles and i feel like i only really used one like just one because it was just so full but if you want like a super super full look i would recommend to use like four to five pieces on the whole thing but yeah make sure before you start your mohawk you are doing these knotless braids in the middle just to set the foundation of the hair you wanted to do all the way from the nape all the way to the front of the hair So this is the foundation of the middle of the mohawk. Look how full that boho hair is. It looks gorgeous. The water wave was perfect. Like, it just was perfect. So when you're receiving bulk hair, you're not going to get it, like, in a bundle. It's going to be, like, already cut off the weft. And you literally just pull out what you need, and it comes just like this, already cut. And you just take the piece as large or as thin as you want to use within the braids really feel like this braided mohawk is going to be very popular a lot of the old styles from back in the day are coming back but i have my beautiful model maliha helping me today with this style it's fairly honestly new to me because i haven't seen it especially with the boho pieces i feel like this is going to make it like way more feminine and soft um looking you know because it's just giving that like mermaid kind of look y'all will see y'all will see because the end result is just bomb but make sure you part it into three sections just so you're not overwhelmed with um all the hair that you'll be having to cornrow so i'm starting on the first section on the bottom and i'm just really just doing like kind of like zigzags not zigzags but like i don't really know how to explain it but just little braids going kind of like strictly to one side to the other y'all will see but yeah you're i didn't really have to add too much hair while i was comb rolling her hair just because her hair is already pretty like a good density so i don't have to really add too much hair to her hair while i'm braiding but for other people you might want to you know insert and add hair to this only time i really added hair to hers was when i was getting down to the bottom and i need to make some extra length but yeah the three sections is really going to help y'all with not being so overwhelmed with all the hair you have to cornrow because keep in mind you have to do one whole side and then you have to do another whole side so keep that in mind So for this hairstyle, you're going to get into different positions to try to get the braids to go in the direction that you want it to go. So we were in like an awkward position trying to do this braid on the bottom, trying to make the braid go upwards and then go to the left. So you have to do what you got to do when you're trying to get the braids to go where you need them to go.
So after I was on my like last diagonal braid, I was like, okay, we're gonna have to put like a knotless braid in between those diagonal braids just so that it's not like there's no more room to do more cornrows. So we're just gonna make this into one braid. So that's what I did. And of course, like I said before, I added three, two to three pieces of the boho water wave hair to each braid. So all the braids y'all see, even the cornrow braids, like they all have boho hair on them. I definitely recommend like when you guys get off of the scalp add the boho hair right away I just add it to the middle piece of the braid and then just continue to braid and let it stick out so that's what I did for all the braids just make sure that you kind of start off like with the boho hair so that it's just gonna be very full and nice looking and my client she likes to do her own edges so I let her do that with the YG wigs edge control brush and she did her edges so cute so I left those out um, as I was braiding it's just better to get it out of the way and let her do it herself that way it's gonna be exactly how she put it when the hairstyle is all finished Now, I'm going to let y'all know this took me some time. I started her hair around like 10, 30, 11. I didn't finish until like 7 with like taking pictures and all that stuff. So, y'all can do the math with how long that took. So, I just did one side. Now, I'm basically finishing up the second side in this clip. But, 
yeah this took some time and i didn't add human hair to the ends of the hair because a lot of people don't know this but if you add human hair to the ends of braids that's gonna take you like an extra hour or two depending on how many braids you have if it takes me like five minutes to do one braid to add human hair on the end of it it add five minutes to 100 braids that's a lot of time you get what i'm saying like five minutes of braid so y'all just keep that in mind so i'm gonna show you what i did to the ends of her hair so that i try to like save time and just like ended up just dipping it and it did match the curl pattern of the water wave very well so i will say if you do this style i don't know if you can like dip it and braid it how i did at the ends um to get the same curl pattern but since this was a water wave it was easy to just braid her hair like braid her braids at the bottom and then dip them you guys will see in just a second is a true mohawk y'all but once you have it to one side you don't really you're not able to really tell that it's a mohawk so like i said before since the water wave pattern is more of like a wave and not a curl i was able to just braid her braids like i braided like maybe three sections so i took some braids she had and just braided them together and then i didn't really dip her hair i kind of just put the hot water on it um i don't know why i did that i just did but that's what I did at first I had it like twisted together but that didn't look right so I would recommend braiding it together so that it could look just like the water wave pattern at the top so that it all matches perfectly look at that yeah it just came out perfect like ugh, this hairstyle was love like it looks gorgeous it took some time to get done but we made it happen you can put it to either side um you know you want it on your good side of course so uh, i was like let's do a style so we just kind of left the hair out in the front and then i just took the back up and like look at it in a ponytail babes come on now eating like left no crumbs and look at the boho hair like the water wave is so pretty with this like it's calm enough so that it's not so curly and like like big but it's like still a curl pattern to where it's like a cute little wave to just add some dimension to the braids you know oh i love it this might be my new favorite like pattern by yg wigs the the water wave it just eats like look at this it's giving like mermaid vibes she looks beautiful like this fit her so well this hairstyle looks so good on her Ugh. chef's kiss but comment down below what you guys think of this style. Will you try this style? Like, have y'all tried this style before? And make sure if you're looking for a true quality human hair that you go on a YG wigs. I don't go to nobody else for my human hair. Like, for real. But anyway, y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.